10. <laughs> Popular number. Top 10s, top 10s, top 10s. So I figured I'd, uh, I'd do my top 10, my favorites. That's the thing, guys. This is completely subjective, personal. Uh, you know, um, my top 10 is going to be a little different. Uh, first off, you're not going to have any niche in here. Uh, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't have 10 niche fragrances. Uh, maybe over the last 20 years of my fragrance buying and stuff, I would have. But I, I think I have... I, I, Geez, I don't think I could pull five out of my arse right now. I might have five. Um, so, yeah, that reason. Second reason, I don't generally find niche. They're not bad. I mean, people that don't get on me, you know, fucking, but they're not bad. It's just, to me, they're, they're okay. The only one that might have made it, and I will give an honorable mention to, I guess, would be uh, Creed Green Irish Tweed. It's the only one I've actually bought a bottle of, not a decant. Uh, it's nice, but it just quite wouldn't have made my top 10. Anyway, and it's also, Jesus, you look at the top 10 videos on fucking YouTube and shit. And it's the same half a dozen fucking people releasing a top 10 video every month. My top 10, my top 10, my top 10. And it's all just flavors of the month. You know what I mean? Whatever's popular. Yeah, fucking. Yup. Two new fragrances come out this month, so I'm going to make a new top 10. Or, oh, everybody's talking about this one, so I'm going to make a new top 10. Yeah. Ridiculous. Uh, I guess. I mean, and these can change. Something can come out and change, but it's just because... One or two fragrances come out within a year, you know, it's not going to change completely. So you don't need to do a new top 10. But these are my top 10 right now. And most of them I'll, I'll never be without again. You can grow tired of something that, that, that happens, but even growing tired of something as a collector, I tend to hold on to them. And what I was getting at about the flavor of the month type deal, my shit ain't flavor of the month. There's some newer stuff in here the last couple of years. There's some stuff from the 90s, some stuff from the 80s. Fuck, there's even a fucking aftershave. Uh, there's expensive designer stuff, cheap designer stuff, uh, cheap drugstore stuff. And by cheap, you know, I, I mean monetarily. Again, not, not quality. These are all high quality. I'll do my best to give you a quick look. I'm not going to give you a full review and a bunch of notes and this and that. I'll just give you maybe what I smell, why I like them. This could be a short video, it could be a long video. I don't know. Uh, anyway, just don't expect any fucking aqua de geos and, and fucking shit like that. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, I've got a couple that are relatively new, that are relatively liked, but most of them Hell, you don't even see reviews on most of these. Anyway, not reviews from the big YouTubers. Anyway, uh, let's start with an honorable mention. Uh, I like this one. I wouldn't, I, like I said, I wouldn't put it in my top 10. The only reason it's here, believe it or not, is... My wife loves this one, absolutely loves this one, uh, and that's going to be a theme with a lot of these wives and girlfriends, I've, or wives, my wife, shh, don't tell my wife, 
my wife either likes them or girlfriends I've had in the past really liked them. None of these have ever really gotten me tons of compliments. Uh, mostly just compliments from the girls I was dating. Uh, which is what you want. Uh, a few of them I've gotten compliments. I've gotten compliments of all of them, but just not tons of compliments. You know what I mean? Uh, I just like the way most of these make me feel. I know I smell good. I know I'm, you know, it makes you feel good. You know, that's what you wear them for. Anyway, the honorable mention. Obsession by Calvin Klein. An old one. Uh, I think the reason she likes it, it was what I was wearing the first time we met and hung out. Uh, it was in the fall. No, no, it was spring, early spring. Late, late, late winter or early spring. And it's a nice scent. Uh, spicy and woody. I get vanilla. I'm not a lot of, there's no vanilla listed in it. Not a lot of people talk about it. But I get tonka or vanilla. It could be a mix of patchouli and basil or amber or whatever. But it, it's, it's slightly sweet. But what you get from it for me mostly is uh, spicy woody. And it's... How do I say? It's like the DNA of almost every Oriental spice cologne since. Like everything copies something about this. So that's got to say something about it. Anyway, honorable mention 11 would be number 11. Uh, obsession for men. Wife loves it. Strippers like it too. <laughs> it's another story. <laughs> Shh, don't tell my wife again. Uh, no, let's get into number 10. Uh, relatively recent purchase for me. Uh, was surprised because I hate the original. Absolutely hate the original. Saying that, there was something about it that I kind of liked and I wished I could wear, but every time I wore it, it just literally gave me a headache. You know, some cologne, it was just super sweet and super loud and just out there. And uh, so I, I bought this one. I blind bought it because it was on sale. And I heard people saying it was kind of like a lighter version of, well, I might like that. Anyway, let's get into it. One million cologne. Like I said, I hate the original. I'm not too big on Lucky. Privé was nice, but it was more, it was sweet, but it was kind of more masculine, more spicy. So it was okay. Uh, but this one, yeah. You still get that bubblegum sweet from it. Uh, with some rose. But just a hell of, it's basically a hell of a lot lighter version of the authentic, or authentic, the original. I can wear this one. And I wear this one when I want to, uh, I don't go clubbing no more, so you're probably not going to have a lot of clubbing sense. <laughs> but uh, when I just want to smell sweet and fun and more casual than anything, that's pre pretty much when I wear this one. Yeah, number 10. Good one. Uh, number nine. Cheapy but goody. Uh, I, I don't know when it was first made, but I'm going to say probably the 70s. If not, it, no more than the 80s. I mean, it's, it's definitely an 80 cent. I'd say even a 70 cent. Uh, there's the cap, cheap little plastic cap, but it's okay. Uh, I don't really, I just, I just like it. There's nothing, anyway. Jovan Musk for men. It, it definitely has, 
it ain't a light musk. It's definitely that animalic musk, that, you know, beaver ass juice musk. Uh, almost smells, and I know you think it's crazy, but sweaty. Uh, just, yeah, it's, it, I can't really, it's just musk, really. A very animalic musk. Uh, lasts a good long time. It's pretty potent. You don't need much of it. I wear this whenever I just whenever I feel like it really I mean, sometimes I don't want to smell like a teenager <laughs> I, I don't know how else to explain it it's just musky goodness yep <sighs> Number eight, another cheapie, not even a cologne, it's an aftershave, but with good performance. It performs better than most aftershaves. It's, uh, it's on the eau de cologne type performance level, you know, about three or four hours. Uh, that being said, though, it's so cheap, literally $5.00. And you can reapply every couple hours if you want. Uh, it's a splash because it's an aftershave. So, but uh, it's going to surprise a few people because it's a cheapy Aqua Velva Ice Sport. Yeah, it, guys, I'm not kidding. Right off the top, that eucalyptus mint smells almost identical to Polo Sport. It really does. And it stays that scent. It dries down into a little bit of a musk. Uh, a lighter musk, but it stays minty pretty much the whole time. I wear this generally after I shave, obviously. And uh, I've worn it as a cologne. On uh, really hot days, I find this is just so refreshing. It's just cooling the menthol and mint and just cooling. Anyway, yeah, give it a try, guys. Number seven, another one from Jovan. This one is, I know this one, most people aren't gonna like. It's just something about it I like. It, it's clean, it's musky. This one though is fucking beautiful. A fucking hidden gem, I would say, in the community. Getting a little harder to find. Uh, prices seem to be going up for it. You used to be able to pick it up in the drugstores for like 10 bucks, 15 bucks. I've seen it now at like Walmart for like 30 and people are selling it for more than that. Uh, Jovan Black Musk. Um, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, sweet and spice. And when I say sweet, don't think one million again. It, it, it's got a sweetness to it, but more of a gentlemanly type sweetness. The musk, they say, they call it black musk, but it's it's definitely white musk. A very soft musk in it. It's got the opening. I really like this one. I don't even want to waste the spray, but I'm going to. Yeah, fucking... Beautiful, it, it, it's, 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 right off the top, there's a little bit of citrus, uh, just a couple minutes in, it goes into a spicy woody blend, uh, with a sweet amber type cedar wood dry down, really nice, yes, under, under appreciated, um, lasts a good long time. For what it is, I mean, you get about seven hours out of it. The juice is a cool color. Look at that, it's like a purple. It's really, really good if you can get it. And like I said, this one I wear very casually. It's not overpowering. Can be, if you apply too much, you know, three sprays is all you need. Uh, 
Said lasts anywhere depending on your skin and all that stuff. You know, six to six to seven hours. Uh, good silage, good projection, all that stuff, guys. Real good one. Real good for just casual lazing around, going to the store. Uh, number six is somewhat of a. I guess it's my only fougere on here. Type scent, but I don't even know if I'd call it a fougere. Barbershop type scent. It's got that vibe to it, but it's got a lot more than that going on. Uh, apparently, this one is getting very hard to find and getting very expensive. Uh, whatever, I don't plan on selling it, so I don't care. Just, just letting you know in case you decide to buy it. You're probably going to spend a hundred plus dollars on a small bottle. Uh, as I'm saying, though, it's called a, they say they classify it as a fougere. I, it is a fougere, I guess, because there is a lot of lavender in it. But I get a lot of spices and sweet tonk of vanilla on the dry now. Yeah. Fende Umo. Beautiful scent. So it's definitely, definitely got that lavender. But it's not the, the the dominant note like in most fougeres. I get from the top, I get a citrus spicy blast, and then in the middle, it's a woody spicy, and then it dries down into a nice tobacco vanilla woody base. It's fucking beautiful and last. I mean, I don't know. I guess there's a reformulation and stuff with this shit. It's probably twenty five years old, thirty years old. This bottle and fucking last. All day. Like, I put it on in the morning. I get home. I don't shower till 11 or 12 at night. It's still on me. And it would be on me the next day if I didn't shower. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh. Yeah. I wear this one more when I'm going out somewhere and dressing up. It's definitely... I mean, again, you wear what you want when you want, but it's definitely not casual. I wouldn't classify it that at all. That being said, the dry down can be rather casual. Like I said, it's just a leathery, spicy, sweet vanilla. So, yeah. Fendi Umo. Number five is a recent purchase for me, like one million was. It's another one I wear dressed up. They classify this one as a fougere, and I don't know why. I get gore, more gourmand out of it. Uh, it. It's got lavender. It is a little powdery, but not near, not even near. As, this one is just a beautiful scent. Beautiful, beautiful company, too. Uh, I get... Sweet and spicy and woody, creamy, and it's another one I wear dressed up. I don't dress it down. This one I dress up, uh, and I'll probably have forever because I don't dress up a lot. But you know, when we go to like weddings and you know, or if we're having a date night, I'll wear this. So I generally dress up, gentlemen. Treat the lady you're with. Like you're still trying to woo her. You go out on date night, put on a nice shirt, nice pair of pants, nice hat, nice belt, nice shoes, shower, brush your teeth, <laughs> and put on a nice cologne. Treat her like you're still trying to woo her or you're going to lose her. Anyway, and tobacco. I get tobacco from this. I don't know if any of them notes are in there, but I'm just telling you what I smell. Windsor by English Laundry. Poor home. Ode to perfume concentration. Holy balls does this stuff last. Two days. I put it on one day around supper time. We went out. Uh, we never got home till almost two in the morning. 
we were at a wedding. Then you go to the, you know, whatever the hell is after the wedding, the party, I don't know, reception. We went there, went home, too tired to shower, got up the next day, maybe had a little too much to drink the night before. I'm not a heavy drinker at all, so, so I didn't shower, just kind of laid around all day. The next day, about 12 o'clock, I got up. Decided to shower. This shit was still on me. And still smelling pretty good. And that was only with like four sprays. Four was too much. I should have just put on two. Uh, but yeah. Dress it up guys. If you can get this and it's getting cheap now. Get it. Trust me. <laughs> Number four I'm wearing today. Memories come flooding back. High school. Girls. Parties. Football. Rugby. Wrestling. Girls. Party. Girls. Did I mention girls? Probably did. Uh, yeah, man. I wear this one a lot just around the house. Um... Or very casually, like just, I you know, want to put something on, go to the mall, go to the store, whatever, get something, pick up some groceries, I don't really want to throw on a, uh, but it's, it's a underrated, you might be able to tell from that, <laughs> uh, very underrated cologne nowadays, wasn't back in the day, but I think that's probably the problem, is everybody's kind of just like, ah, it's garbage, you know, it's, Mass produced bullshit. No, guys. No. Curve. Curve. I know. I know. I had that when I was 15. We all fucking had it when we were 15. We all wore the hell out of it and we wore too much of it. And that's part of the problem. It's people start remembering it. They remember, like, it's like when they remember polo on their dads and shit. Just. Poof, 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 poof. You know, because you're 14, 15 years old, you don't know how to apply this shit. You fucking load it on and you stunk. Three, four sprays. You know, one on your neck, one on the back of your neck, one on your chest. Put your shirt on, one on your shirt. You are good to go. Eight hours. I know. And it projects like a motherfucker. Silage and projection is there. And I'm going to tell you something about Curve. That I don't know if it's been said. It is fucking sexy. Women to this day. Old, young, fucking whatever. Sexy. They love it. I don't know why. I don't know what the fuck Liz Claiborne did. Or anything. I don't know what note it is. I tell you there's pineapple in there. There's fucking. But that's just off the top for the first 10 or 15 minutes. And then it fucking hits that mid man, and it's it's the cactus and the gr I mean cactus is a weird note, but it's beautiful. Uh, I think there's a little agave in there too, because uh, it's slightly sweet, and spicy and woody, and fucking dries down. The dry down is fucking amazing. I know I've said it before, but this shit is fucking quality in a bottle. This is fucking, it's, if there ever was going to be a panty dropper, and again, there's no such thing, but this will definitely help. Ladies fucking love the smell of this. Age doesn't matter. The lifestyle doesn't matter. Rich or poor doesn't matter. Every girl who's ever smelled this on me from girlfriends, to girlfriends, mothers, to fucking my mother's friends, my grandmother, my mother, my wife now, all her friends always tell me when I wear curb that I smell not good. That is incredible. You smell incredible. What is that? Yeah.
Don't trust me? Don't, don't believe me? $5. Look at that, $5. Is it fucking 50 mils? I believe it is. $5. Try it. Try it. $5. You need to get a smaller bottle for fucking like a couple bucks. Try it. Ah, coming to my top three. This one here. Ozone carbonated fucking opening. I, and I don't know what that smell is. I just know it's fucking beautiful. I'm not, it's just an oriental. It's spicy, spicy, spicy. You're not going to get a lot of sweet. You're not going to get a lot of green. It is spice, 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 and a little bit of woods. Opium. YSL. Hmm. Where do I begin? This stuff was my signature scent for years. Years. I wore this religiously. I mean, goodness gracious. I don't even, yeah, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, I wore it Probably when I shouldn't have, because um, it's definitely heavy for the summer. Again, can still be worn in the summer. You wear anything you want when you want. You just got to go a little lighter on the trigger. I didn't. Fuck that. I loved it so much. And like I said, the initial blast of opium, for my nose anyway, is very carbonated, ozonic type fucking smell. And then it's just... Spice, man, heavy on spices, and it's fucking beautiful. Again, this is one I wear now for two reasons. When I'm dressing up, going somewhere, somewhat semi-casual. Like I said, I still haul out this mostly now for fucking formal, but semi-casual type, still semi-formal. Haul this stuff out. The other time I wear it is when I just want to be reminded of fucking my 20s. When you fucking thought you knew everything and you were living in a cheap ass apartment, working for no money, couldn't care less, parties all the time. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. <sighs> number two is one that, uh, well, my number two and number one are both ones that people fucking love or hate. And I love them both. There's the cat. It's a magnet with a bee. <laughs> so you know what's coming. Uh, yeah. This one is one I wear, again, casually, semi-casually, semi-formal. I don't dress it up a lot. You could. It, it, but it's uh, next to Curve. It's my most uh, liked by my wife and by her girlfriends that I have. Uh, funny story, a couple of her girlfriends have come over as I've worn this, asked me what it was because they wanted to get a bottle for their husbands or boyfriends. That's the first and only time it's ever happened with a clone. This, this was it. Like, it really does. Ladies do love it. I love it. You're either going to love it or hate it. You already know. Savage. This is the Eau de Parfum. I, I kind of like this one better. They smell identical. For the most part. Like I said, I've said before, if you're average, just your average Joe... Or Sally coming in off the street is not going to be able to tell the difference between, oh, that one has more of this and less of that than uh, Eau de Toilette. No, they smell identical for the most part. I pick up on little nuances, and so probably most of you who are watching would. But for the most part, they're pretty close. Yeah, just uh, 
A crowd pleaser. Safe. The Ode to Perfume's a little louder than the EDT, but safe still. Not too many people are going to be, ooh, that stinks. Especially ladies. Ladies love it. You've seen the YouTubes. You've experienced yourself. You know it's the truth. Ladies love it. And I like the smell of it. Makes me spell confident and clean. I know that sounds funny, but it really does. <sighs> Number one. This one is fucking polarizing as fuck. People love or hate or love to hate on it. But if you love it, you love it. If you hate it, you hate it. It's by Dwyer again, Christian Dwyer. It's my number one all time. I will never ever be without this fragrance. If I dropped this bottle fucking tonight, I'd be the fucking store at eight o'clock in the morning tomorrow to buy another one. Which is funny because I hardly ever wear it now. I just, it was one of my first, you know, pretty much my first designer cologne. And one I bought with my own money. I got a pretty good review story on it. Just go watch it. I'm just going to tell you what it is. Fahrenheit. That fucking gasoline smell that everybody says it has. And it has it. I love it. Absolutely love it. Not going to get into a whole whatever. It, it, you know what Fahrenheit. You know what it is. You like it or you hate it. That's it. You guys, that was my top 10. As I said before, there's not really any flavors of the month. I guess you could kind of say this is a flavor of the month. But I really do like this. You know, it, it, or maybe this is a flavor of the month. The 1 million with... 49 flankers. Uh, yeah, I, I really like this. Like I said, it, it's different. I've got cheap stuff. I've got expensive stuff. I've got old stuff, new stuff. Fuck, like I said, I even got an aftershave in there. How many people give you an aftershave in a top 10? Not too many. They're too uppity uppity. Fucking to wear an aftershave. I'm not wearing an aftershave. I'm going to wear something by Perfumes de Marley today. Well, you know, whatever. And I haven't had any Perfumes de Marley yet, so... I'm not down in them. I haven't had them. But if they're anything like any other pretty much niche company out there, I can do without. Uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's my top ten. I'd like to hear your thoughts and maybe... See your top 